one of the questions you want to ask now, or most people are asking is, what is next for Thurman? Right now, I did an entire video. We did the video I, I supported and came through with my my uh, probably unpopular opinion, but I will say that it's a a, a relatively bold opinion. Uh, I really, like I said, I felt that you know Keith Thurman should strongly consider walking away. Like I just don't believe that Thurman has the the same fire that he had in 2015, 2016, before the injuries, before the marriage, everything, right? And I don't think there's any shame in that, right? Because we're all human beings, go through different stages in our life. Our motivations are at different levels, uh, at different times. And it's not a choice necessarily. It's just something that kind of happens. Uh, Keith Thurman is a very intelligent guy. He has a future as a broadcaster. Uh, he knows that. And sometimes subconsciously when you know you have options then it changes the way you deal with your primary situation and i'm not implying that thurman didn't fight hard on saturday i think he did but now falling off the wagon falling off the undefeated train do we truly believe that thurman has what it takes to come back and beat the errol spences the 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 the, the sean porters the danny garcias and others uh, right there in that PBC envelope. Do we think he can do that uh, enough to get back to where he was? I, I just don't know. But uh, I say all that to say, uh, I say all that to say that it, I can understand him walking away, but I truly don't think that he will. Um, I think, you know, he's been talking about he wants a rematch with Pacquiao. I strongly doubt that'll happen. I, I have, there's no reason in the world why I can see Pacquiao giving anybody a rematch outside of Mayweather. I just not. I just don't. He'll be 41 years old in December. Um, you know, he knows that that end is coming. He's got, you know, and it doesn't make any sense for him to look back and fight Keith Thurman over again. I mean, he he's are he's already beaten him. You know, I just don't see why he would do that. So I think that one's out. But I do think it's possible that uh, we could get Thurman Adrian Broner, assuming Adrian Broner beats Ivan Redcatch, who is it hasn't been officially announced that that's his new his next opponent, but most people in boxing circles know that uh, Red Catch is next for Broner. Now, Red Catch has some talent, and he's a tough dude and comes forward, and he's he's an action fighter. And we know that with Broner, he hasn't been he's been having a problem pulling the trigger, so it could be interesting. But if Broner does win, I think there's real intrigue with Thurman Broner, and I'm going to tell you one of the reasons why. I wrote an article because there was uh, some rumors and some speculation going around. Uh, and I'll try to put the link to this article in the description of the video, but there was some confusion going around and, and there was talk after Broner lost to uh, Pacquiao and was before Thurman Pacquiao was announced that Broner and Thurman were going to be matched together. Uh, and I wrote an article and I think my headline was something like, if PBC gives Thurman the uh, gives Broner the Thurman, they must be trying to eliminate the problem, you know. And apparently, that must have gotten back <laughs> to uh, Broner and Thurman, and Broner got upset about it. He started going at Thurman, you know, and, and it that might have caused some sort of issue. But now the fight makes even more sense than it did then. Now we got a matchup between the last two guys who faced and lost to Manny Pacquiao. So it would seem to make some sense uh, for, um, you know, it would seem to make some sense for that to take place. So I don't know. I don't know. We, we have to find out uh, what happens. But I, I think that that fight makes a lot of sense, especially if Broner beats Red Catch. And it, especially if, if he were to stop him. You know, it would be a, a big deal. But more than anything, we know Broner has to start throwing some punches. He does. Um, outside of that, there's some fringe people that Thurman could fight. Uh, on the outside, perhaps he gets the loser of Spence Porter, which could end up being a rematch with Porter. Uh, it's hard for me to imagine Porter beating Spence. Uh, I do think it's Porter's going to be Spence's toughest opponent, but I still you know, definitely believe that Spence wins. So that's one we'll, we'll have to see what happens.